Okay, in this video we're going to add the main content to finish up our website here. So for this make sure that um, you're actually working in at least the 1200 pixels or the full size window here, window showing. Just double click to fit the entire width of the window in your workspace. Again, I have div row hero selected and I'm going to insert a grid row with one column. So I'm going to change that to one and I want to insert it after that uh, hero image. So click on after and I'll click OK. And now I have a div row. First thing that I want to do is actually add a an ID to this and you can go down to properties or you could use the quick tag inspector. Um, so I'm going to actually insert this in properties and I'll just name that highlights and I'll hit enter and there it is. I'm going to click inside of the column and what I'm going to do is resize the column uh, to kind of center it and it'll give it a little bit of space on e each end or each side of the actual column in the large size format. So I'm going to click and resize so the left uh, or the right hand side resizes and if you hold down the, the mouse button it'll actually snap to the next column over. So now you see that I have a column large 10 columns. So it's really one column but again we're working in that grid system that is 12 columns. The left hand side will offset it so I'll click and drag in once and that's going to make it nice and centered for us. Next I'm going to just click on the smaller uh, media query window so that I'm going to work in the smallest uh, size here that I have um, inside of my window here. So insert a grid row with column. I'm going to actually make two and this one I will nest. So again two columns inside of this smaller column. Now you notice that when I actually made that this media query size, the 650 media pixels media size, um, it actually expands this column that looks differently in the larger size. It gives us those margins, but in the smaller size it doesn't. Just wanted to point that out. So now I'm inside of this div column here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this div another article or an HTML uh, tag so that we can identify that again in our DOM panel. And the DOM panel is located here on the insert panel or the actual uh, insertion panel or the CSS panel area. And you can see that um, it's better to add an identifier to it. So here I know which one I'm picking. So if I want to select my hero image I can click in the DOM panel quickly and select that. Here is the highlights area. That's the whole row. And inside of that again I have some uh, columns. So this row I want to call an article so that I can actually start seeing where everything is. So Okay. Instead of a div, I want to call that an article. So I'm going to delete div from the quick edit and type in article and hit enter. Now you can see that that changed it to an article instead of a div. That way we can identify it inside of the DOM panel easier. Okay with that selected I'm going to insert an SVG or a scalable vector graphic and again I'm going to go to my my heading here for some reason it's being funky image 
and I'm going to nest one of my icons. This is the way that uh, yours will most likely come into uh, your window it is a full size and it's going to fit inside of the column itself. So what we need to do is create a selector for that so that um, it's more appropriate as an icon. So selecting my CSS here and global, I'm going to create a selector for that image. Here you can see because I have the image selected, it's giving me row, column, and image. I'll hit the up arrow twice. Now I just have IMG. And I need an open bracket, SRC for source, a dollar sign, which is going to make that apply globally to all the icon.svgs or whatever extension I am actually using for my icons, equal sign, and in quotes, icon.svg. Again, that's because I gave that. Uh, those icons that extension. Oops, and I need a closed bracket. Enter. And now I can give this some properties. The first thing I want to do is make this a little bit smaller, so I will put in here 50, should be an appropriate size. And I'll hit Enter. And I want to display that as a block. And I also want to set my shorthand here of 10 pixels for the top and the bottom and auto for left and right. Now using the short can, short or set shorthand method allows me to put in quickly um, these uh, properties instead of using this box and having to do on each individual uh, little area here. Okay, so that places my image in there, and I'm going to do is save all related, and, and then we'll move on here. So next what I'm going to do is show you how to insert some placeholder information there for that. So I have the image selected. And I'm going to place it right in my source code. I'm going to go to that area right next to it, so the closing tag to that image. And then I'm going to hit Enter twice to give us a little bit of space here. Now using the H2 plus P greater than L-O-R-E-M or lorem and then hitting the tab. Make sure you hit the tab. That's going to insert some lorem ipsum uh, font for you, placeholder text. I'm going to type in my H2 sand dunes and there you can see that now I have some placeholder text and my first article is complete. So now I can click anywhere inside of the first article and I can use the up arrow and if you have the latest version of, of Dreamweaver CC or the latest update which is 2015.1 I can click on this duplicate column and that will insert those for me. If you don't have the latest update, what you can do is select that article and then in your source code you can, once it's selected, it's actually selected in your source code. So I could right click, copy, and then right after that paste in another one. And that's the way you add more content uh, to your website. Uh, now you'll notice that I have a gap between 
the nav bar and my hero image. Let me get rid of that. The way to do that is you select your body tag at the bottom here. You'll notice as I hover over it, it's actually giving me what the tag is. It's body style, padding top, 70 pixels. What I want to do is change that 70 to 50 and then hit refresh and that'll get rid of that gap for you.